Okay, so it's finally here. We finally have closed captions in the new world of meetings recordings in Teams. So let's go on and take a look. Okay, so just now, very, very shortly ago, I was in a meeting with um, someone I was working with, with one of the customers, and went to trigger off our meeting recording and noticed something different, something new. And what I noticed was, is that we have this start transcription now within our um, meeting. So now we have the ability to start the transcription recording of our meetings, which now means we have the ability to not only record a transcription, but we can also have those closed captions back within our meeting recordings. So let's go take a look down now at how that looks within Microsoft Teams. Okay, so here we are in Microsoft Teams now. I'm gonna go into my catch up meeting with Bob here, and I'm gonna click onto it and join that meeting with Bob. Um, my camera's not gonna show because I'm using my camera for here, but let me join the meeting and see what happens here. So there we go, we're in our meeting, waiting for others to join, if I just check, um, Bob hasn't responded, Bob's not turned up yet. But don't worry about that, we'll start the meeting without him. And what I'm gonna do is, under my ellipsis here of my three dots for more actions, you can see I've now got start transcription. So if I click on this start transcription, it's going to now start populating this transcript on the right hand side of my meeting. So we can see there in live time, very much like when we have the, the, um, the subtitles we, we have, um, we now have the transcription happening on that right hand side within our meeting here. But where the magic happens now is if we do a, um, a start recording, then when I'm starting the recording, it's now going to add that transcription. So my closed captions to my recording because I'm recording my transcription. We still do, as I said, we still have those um, live captions within a meeting. So we still have that happening, as you know, with our faces showing who it is but also our transcript on that right hand side is also going to be populating with who's talking at that current time. If we now, um, we're going to go into stop, uh, stop recording, sorry, uh, and we're going to stop our recording and then we're going to have a look at what that looks like with our recording in Teams. So let me leave my meeting and we've left our meeting. Um, I'm going to go into um, my meeting here into the edit to view and gonna go into the chat and we can see now in my meeting chat I could have accessed this from the chat on the left hand side here um, but from our meeting chat we have our meeting recording we also have our transcript if I click on to the transcript then we can see here here's that populated transcript we have the option to download it as a docx file we also have the option for a VTT file if we need to add in um, subtitles and so on to other other formats um, so we've got those two different ways of downloading it. Um, and you can see we've got a new tab here, recordings and transcripts. At the minute, I can't access the recording from this page. I'm sure that will change. Um, so at the minute, it's only showing the, the transcript on here. But if I go into the chat, um, then I can access that meeting recording. So if I click on my meeting recording, it opens up that recording in my OneDrive because I'm in this new world of where it's saving. Um, and if I click on the play button, and I've got this new closed caption button. So if I click on the closed caption button, we can now see that my transcript is now acting as subtitles on top of my video. Something that went missing when we were, were making that change from Microsoft Stream to rec our recordings being saved in OneDrive and SharePoint. But now this feature is there and accessible. If we just go into um, our meeting chat then, then we can see we've got we've got that transcript and we've got the recording. But if I go directly to my calendar and to my meeting and um, just click on the edit option, you'll notice I didn't have that tab. So that tab I just showed you with transcript and meetings, um, sorry, recordings and transcript isn't showing up along the top here. Uh, it's not there, not, not viewable. If I go into my chat though, and then if I click on transcript, then the tab turns up. 
So I think we're sort of in a transition stage as I'm showing this and I'm sure it'll update very, very soon and that tab will always be visible within here. Um, but we're just in that transition stage at the minute where if that tab's not showing up, don't panic. You just need to go in through the chat option to, to access that transcript. So there you go, you have that real quick, nice way of doing um, that meeting transcript, closed captions now available in that new world of meeting recordings. Something to note, and please do note this, if you do not start that transcript um, from the, the, the three little button, three little dots at the top um, in your more options and select that start transcript, you will not get the closed captions on your recording. So if you go and just do your normal meeting recording, it doesn't initiate that transcription, doesn't create those closed captions, subtitles to our video. So you do need to make sure you are doing recording and transcription for it to be able to embed those into our video. I've had a look to see where the transcription file is actually saved. As we know, with a new way of recording, um, our recording, meeting recordings are saved in OneDrive and saved in SharePoint if we're doing a channel recording, uh, sorry, a channel meeting. Um, but that transcript file does not exist in there. Whether it's a hidden file, I'm not sure, but just currently, I can't see that within that um, recordings folder. So if you do know where that is, please again, pop it in a little comment below, just saying where you, where you found that could be really useful um, to share with people. Um, but hopefully showing you today, making awareness that now we can have closed captions and meeting transcripts um, is going to really help us with that accessibility element. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please do give it a thumbs up, give it a like, hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below if this is going to help you moving forward. Until next time, see you soon.